Today I'm going to explain how the seasons occur. For some definitions that you need to know is the motions. The first motion is rotation and the second motion is revolution. Rotation is when the earth spins on its axis. Revolution is when it revolves. Revolution is when it spins and moves around the sun at the same time. The first season is autumn. Autumn equinox occurs in the 21st or 22nd of September. The sun, uh, the sun hits directly to the equator and the north hemisphere and the south hemisphere gets the same amount of radiation and daytime and sun and night. The second uh, season is winter solstice. Winter solstice occurs in the 21st or 22nd of December. The radiation hits towards the north hemisphere while the southern hemisphere gets summer. The southern hemisphere gets more time, more radiation and more daytime and night than the northern hemisphere. The overhead sun is over the Tropic of Capricorn and sun and the southern hemisphere would receive more radiation while the northern hemisphere receives less. Next season is spring equinox. Spring equinox would occur during the 21st or 22nd of March. The, the overhead sun is over the equator so the, f the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere would get the same amount of radiation and daytime and night. The next season is summer solstice. Summer solstice happens in the 22nd or 23rd of June. The, su the radiation of the sun hits the northern hemisphere while the southern hemisphere has winter. The northern hemisphere gets the the most radiation and daytime and night while the southern hemisphere gets less daytime and less radiation. Some people think that the earth is closer to the sun in summer but that's wrong. The earth is actually farther away and the sun gives direct radiation but in winter the sun is the earth is closer to the sun and it gives less radiation to the north and southern hemisphere.